What is going on dudes, my name is Little13, and welcome back to another Pokemon Wars Wi-Fi battle. So we have another battle against Jedrick here. Uh, one day, he messaged me, he's like, hey, you want to do, uh, you know, a PE battle? This was after he created these auxiliaries, actually. He's like, you want to do a battle? So I'm like, sure, let's fucking do it. So as you see, the team that I'm bringing, uh, I believe you've seen everything but the Pelipper, and this may be my physical auxiliary. I don't remember... I couldn't tell you which Octillery I used because this was a while ago that we had this match. But as you see, he's bringing a pretty powerful team, and I'm look at, liking the looks of it. So we're going to get started here. I'm pretty, I was pretty excited for this match, and we're running with the Xenia theme because it's like my favorite in the entire game. I adore it. So I'm going to lead out with Nacho, my uh, Pikachu Libre. So he's going to lead out with his Chitot. Chitot? I've never said it like that before. So anyways, uh, obviously this thing has no good sort of matchup against my Pikachu, so he decides to swap out and go into his Steed, which he's spelled wrong. It, that's Stead, not Steed. Since I knew he was going to switch, I didn't go for the Wild Charge, I decided to go for the Volt Switch, and that does a hell of a lot of damage. I mean, I am running, obviously, uh, um, Hasty Nature on my Pikachu, but, you know, he's just going to go straight out for the Wild Charge and one shot Celeste. Which I did not expect. He did get the crit. So, I actually, I don't think he would have killed had he uh, not gotten the crit. So, it was kind of funny. I messaged him like, was that a crit? And he's like, nope, but it was. <laughs> it was a while back. I, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even see the, the play happen. Because I think I was, I don't know, either doing homework or watching some YouTube video. Anyways, I sent him my spec Spyroar. And I decided to go for the, uh, the Hyper Voice. Take this thing out. So, I decided to go for it because it's pretty pretty nice because I can lock myself into whatever. Uh, and he sends out Sweet Death and, and for a moment, I thought, is that my Frostlass? But no, obviously, it's his Gotharita. He didn't bring a Frostlass. I should be paying attention considering it's Yu Yu. So anyways, Hyper Voice easily takes down the Gothita, uh, even with the Eevee Light, but yeah. So I'm not confident that one Hyper Voice can take this thing out, though I probably should have been. Let's be honest, it's a choke. So, anyways, he decides to go for the Brick Break uh, just to hit some damage. He does a fairly decent amount to my Pelipper uh, because of the crit. So, uh, we got this green Toilet Bird out here. This thing I actually received, I believe, in a Wonder Trade. So, I I've received a lot of random Pokemon that are shiny in a Wonder Trade. So, I think I went for Scald or something. Air Slash. Okay. So, I decided to go for the Air Slash, which still does a crap ton of the chat out. And I'm thinking here that I could just let my Pelipper die, I could swap into something, but nothing wants to take a boom burst from this thing. So he just decides to take the, I just leave my Pelipper out here to die because screw Pelipper. I, I, I kind of like Pelipper, I don't know. And PU, it's kind of a cool Pokemon, but you know. So now I send in plagiarism here. Um, I remember telling this, the, the thing about the Smeargle Sprite and Jadrick has a shiny Smeargle that's, has a green tip tail and uh, the soul link, but I decided to go over the spore here and put this thing to sleep because why the heck not? Uh, and now I'm just gonna start setting up spikes. I don't really have anything to touch this. I believe my um my only attacking move is U-turn, which obviously would not do very much at all, and I'd uh, be swapping. So if I'm just getting some entry hazards up here because. Uh, it'll be very nice when he sends in other Pokemon, so he does get the four turn sleep, or the three turn sleep, one of the two, which does suck, so I'm able to get up all three layers of my spikes, uh, and he's just gonna wake up here and take me out with a boom burst, so, uh, you know, Smeargle did its job, I was happy about that, so, plagiarism goes down, I think this is one of the first battles I've actually gotten to really use the thing, you know, so now I'm gonna sit in Nacho, because, uh, I hope, I think I'm faster, because I, I couldn't tell. I think he was probably Specs. Most ch chat odds are Specs in PU. So uh, I just swapped into Nacho because if he wasn't uh, Scarf, then I would be able to kill him with whatever one move I wanted. So I uh, hit the thing of the Wild Charge. It goes down pretty easily. Now he's going to send in some Machoke. He's going to take a uh, nearly a quarter amount of its health from the, the... Maybe it was a quarter from the Spikes. But Wild Charge is just a very nice amount of damage. And he's just going to go for the Poison Jab, maybe predicting the switch or just something else, but it doesn't matter, because Nacho goes down anyway, and I was still very, very happy about how that went down. So now I'm going to send in my Leafy on. I mean, now I know he has Poison Jab, but it doesn't really matter, because I know that one Leaf Blade will take this thing out, because I absolutely love Leafy on. The crit did not matter. Uh, it does have a high crit ratio, but in this case, the crit definitely did not matter. So, uh, at this point, I think I'm winning by a fairly decent margin. 
I both of those I don't think either of his Pokemon are very very good. I think this may be his last one. I don't I don't even know. I can't tell. There's one more turn after this. So Leaf Blade hits the Politoed and easily takes it out. Uh, just I mean it's a Politoed against the Leafeon. The Leafeon's gonna win with Leaf Blade. So uh, pretty cool stuff. So in his final Pokemon it says Octillery. Yeah, that's what I thought. So uh, I it, it was it sucks to have to knock out Celeste, but. Leafeon cleans up the game, so Leafeon actually gets half of the kills in the match, which is hilarious, um, considering he was only in for, like, the last four turns. No, last three, excuse me. So, anyways, yeah, that was a pretty good match. I do, I did, did like the outcome of that. It, I think it was a, uh, three out of me. Yeah, I believe it was a three out of me because my Smeargle, uh, Pelipper, and, uh, Pikachu died, and I don't think, uh, my Pyroar definitely didn't die, and I didn't send my Actillery in the entire battle, so... That is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, this Pokemon RS Wi-Fi battle. If you enjoyed, like, so appreciated. Um, go check out Jadrick. Always in the description below. Whenever I battle him, he's an awesome dude. Um, and yeah, you should definitely check out the Soul Link if you haven't. That's the reason we have all these Celeste because uh, I fell in love with Octillery. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.